Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are heading out to the property again. It is a very overcast day in Australia, again. Um, but it's good because we do need the rain and it gives us an opportunity, if it does rain, to spread some seeds around the property. Um, especially on the damn walls, because we definitely need to seed those ones up. Ah, uh, My bin. Michael bought himself a weed bin for so all of his bioweed bio weed and all that stuff. But yeah, first off, we need to head to the hardware store, Bunnings Warehouse. I need to get some strawberry seeds and some little, what do they call them? Pots and potting mix so that I can plant them and get my strawberry patch underway. Yesterday, I did make a bed out of all those big piles of dirt that you've seen. And, um... Dumped a whole heap of cow poop on them. So once we get out there, I'll show you what I did yesterday. Got some drone footage, so I'll chuck that in as well. Let's go. Hello, it's me. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back. Well, we've been to the hardware shop, and we are now on our way out to the property. Looking very overcast. The forecast was for 80% chance of rain at about one o'clock this afternoon. I'll just double check that. Um, it has dropped down to 70% chance of rain at 1 o'clock and 70% chance at 2 o'clock and 3 and 4 o'clock So there's a good chance we'll get a shower today, which is good because I threw some seed out yesterday on the spare paddock which we're resting at the moment a um, bit of um, over sow of medic and um, some loosened seed so and you guys should see the difference between the paddock that we're trying to improve in comparison to the paddock that the cows are in now. Obviously, they've eaten the one that they're in now down quite a fair bit. But we're also doing a bit of pasture rotations. Or what do they call it? Strip grazing? Yep. We're doing strip grazing to not only eat the grass down in areas that need to be mowed down, but also to give the paddock that they're in a little bit of a break in the afternoon as well. So the one we're resting at the moment is the one the girls were in originally. Um, so a few weeks ago when we had a bit of rain I threw out some fertiliser and now that it's cooled off a bit I've thrown out some medics. So medics are like a clover, uh, they're a high protein and they only grow over winter. So when your grass isn't growing your medics grow and it gives you a food source for the cows. So therefore once and then once summer, once it starts heating up again the medics die off, um, they'll seed, they'll die off um, and then your grasses will start growing and then next year your medics with the seed that's in the ground they'll start growing again so therefore you've got an, a constant growth in your paddocks all year round either grasses or your medics or your loosen all right oh that is so much better than holding it to the camera i've got you on a tripod should feel privileged get more of this bilkara action Yee all right so we're just going to go and let the cowgirls up. We moved the electric fencing. It used to be in this area here. Don't know if you can see the um, difference in the grass. That was obviously right there where the fence was in comparison to where the, it used to be. Now we've got it up there behind the shed. So yeah, we'll try and move them. Mark was going to try and widen my fencing that I did yesterday a little bit more. Which you know is fine. 
All right, and I am going to show you guys what we bought at Bunnings. Oh my God, Bunnings. I feel like it doesn't matter who you are. Bunnings is one of those shops that you go into and you're like, oh my God, I need to buy everything. But you know, your wallet won't allow you to, so you can't. I'll start off with this bad boy. We did have a perfectly functioning watering can, but we left it out in the sun and the other day when I was watering the macadamia tree, I just dropped it and the, bo the bottom of it all busted open. So, my bad. We got a hose reel. We weren't too sure if we were gonna be able to get this because the reason that we need this hose reel is so that we can wind up our electric fencing. Um, it's way too difficult and way too time consuming to roll it up onto the thing that it was on when we bought it. We needed to get a plastic one because if it was a metal one, it would have shorted out the power running through it because we are not obviously using it all at the same time. So we have a pile of ribbon just sitting there. So instead of having the pile of ribbon just sitting there getting all tangled, we'll roll it onto this hose reel and then just hook it up onto the fence. So we bought that one. I bought a three pack. A three pack of, what are these even called? Seed trays? I bought three pack of seed trays. Um, so, so, we'll open it up. So one of these will be used for my strawberries. We have had the worst luck when it comes to growing strawberries. If we put the seed in the ground, it just doesn't work. So gonna have to do a bit of research into working out how we can, what we can do to have the most success with our strawberries. Um, Michael did a bit of research and somebody was saying you stick them in the freezer for three weeks or something. I don't exactly know, but probably going to try and plant half of the seeds today in one of these and just see how we go with that. I know that you gotta keep water on them all the time. Um, they've gotta be constantly moist when they're in the seeding. So yeah, we'll be using that for the strawberries and anything else that we decide to plant in these bad boys. The next thing we got was one of these. These are one of the ones that you pump. It's a spray bottle. You pump it up, then you pull the trigger and it just has a constant flow. Rather than using the handheld ones where you just constantly got to trigger it, um, I saw this idea on Living Traditions Homestead. Somebody sent them a similar one to this. They obviously have a way bigger scale of seeds and plants that they're growing at home. It's actually a part of their business. But yeah, so I'll use that for that. To watering makes it a lot easier. Now seeds, oh my God. Oh, I just, I need to get something in the ground. We've had this property for about six months now. No, longer than that. It's probably been about seven or eight months and I haven't been able to plant anything and it's doing my head in. So we got some dwarf peas. I'm, I don't think this particular type of pea um, grows up on a trellis or it's not huge, it's small. And they say on the packet that you can just use like a, a stake in the ground and just hook it up to it. So we'll probably just use a stake that you would normally use for tomatoes depending on how bushy and crazy it gets. Strawberries, oh my God, I didn't know what type of strawberries to buy. So I've ended up going with Templeton, Strawberry Templeton. I think that's what it's called, I'm not 100% sure. Next we got broccoli. At the original property that we had, and we had a veggie garden there, um, at the Vilcar Homestead number one, we planted broccoli and it was there were too many seeds clumped together. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it. I think given that we're not experts in veggie gardens or anything, we're gonna have to do a lot of trial and error with our vegetable garden, which I'm fine with because if it doesn't work, then you learn and all that goodness, all about learning new things. But I'm going to plant these in here as well, just to see how they go and then plant them, transplant those into the veggie garden. Next thing we got was cauliflower. I'll probably do exactly the same thing with the broccoli in these as well. Um, so the only thing that I'll be planting straight in the ground is the peas. So fingers crossed these take off and we can get some produce in the next couple of months. That would be amazing. All right, that was my Bunnings haul. Let me know in the comments what you thought and your opinions on how I'm gonna do this because I don't really know what I'm doing. If you wanna leave some comments letting me know what to do in the future, I would appreciate it. Another pretty cool and groovy thing as well is our 
electric fencing isn't even turned on and the girls are staying in it. I think they they must have either been zapped over there. The owner that had them previously must have trained them to the wire, but that is so freaking good that we don't really need it on because if you can see over there, it's all in a tangle. Hence the reason we got that hose reel for it. Should we try and construct that hose reel? Yeah. But yeah, see those big dirt piles there? And down there? That dirt is from the front of the shed. In order for us to get our shed council approved, we had to do the guttering on the top there, the PVC piping with the tank on the back to catch the water. And this whole front part needed to be leveled out. Still not finished that yet. But once it's finished, we'll probably stick a retaining wall around it, make it look pretty, put some turf down. What was your uncle? And yesterday, we walked down and we picked up a whole wheelbarrow full of cow manure, cow poop, whatever you call it. And we just laid it on top. If you can see that. But I'm planning on turning all of this into garden beds as well. Michael is definitely the buildy man. So we'll just sit here and watch Michael construct it. This will be exciting. <laughs> So, being homesteaders, we bought the cheapest possible. <laughs> the cheapest one. But it also had to be plastic because it's going on to the electric fence. Instructions. Took six minutes. <laughs> it's been hat on it by, is. It's been squashed by the hat. All right, so like I said before, I'm only gonna plant out half of these strawberries and then we're gonna do some research and try and find out the best ways to do it, given that we've had absolutely no success in the past. This soil looks amazing. You have no freaking idea how excited I am to finally plant something Seven months. We've had this place. Oh, well, six months. Seven, seven, six months. And I haven't planted any food, food grubs. Planted trees, but I'm not gonna go eat a tree, am I? Because I love me some strawberries, and so does Reese. Do not appreciate your sass, Michael. <laughs> Seedlings emerge 14 to 21 days. That's two and a half weeks before I see you sprout? Jesus. Broccoli and cauliflower. What are the chances of me pulling out 12 seeds? We'll go put these out in the sun. Ah! Wind almost took it. I don't know which is which out of the cauliflower and broccoli. Oh well. I guess we'll see when they grow. Anyway, we will love you and leave you right here. I feel like we've dribbled on a fair bit in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So hit the subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video. Bye! It's not my fault, you know I had to walk away.